for the presence of the Lord is here this morning. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we adore you. You are our greatest father. This morning we celebrate earthly fathers. But we cannot fail not to call you father. For all that you've done for us, both male and female, you've been a good God to us. You supplied our needs. You've helped us when we needed help. We are grateful, absolutely grateful. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified. Thank you for all you do for us. And God's people say, Amen. Come on, if you love him, put those hands together for Jesus. Please take your seat this morning. Amen. God gave me a message for somebody here. Amen. I said, God gave me a message for somebody here. Amen. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 9. 1 Samuel chapter 9. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 9 from 1 is quite long but I will try to cut it. 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 3. From verse 3 to 7. Chapter 9 from verse 3 to 7. And the asses of Kish Saul's father were lost. And Kish said to Saul his son, Take now one of thy servants with thee and arise and go and seek the asses. We'll get to seven. And he passed through Mount Ephraim and passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. Marado. Then they passed through the land of Shalim and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjamites and they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Saul said to his servants that was with him, Come, and let us return. Lest my father leave caring for the asses, and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold now, there is in this city, somebody say in this city, ah, come and say, somebody say in this city, a man of God and he is an honorable man all that is said come as surely to pass now let us go to Tida peradventure he can show us our way that we should go verse 7 then says Saul to his servant but behold if we go what shall we bring the man of God for the bread is spent in our vessels and there is no present to bring to the man of God what we have. And the servant answered Saul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver that, that will I give to the man of God to tell us our way. Holy Spirit of God, minister to your people. Bless your people, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to be preaching on the subject, stumbling into your blessing. Stumbling into your blessing. I can't hear you. Stumbling into your blessing. Somebody this morning is about to stumble into his blessing. Ah, you don't hear me. I don't know what you understand when we, uh, when we used to be uh, small. I hope you understand when the word says stumbling. Stumbling means that you are about to fall. But in your, especially when you see a drunkard, you get an example of what stumbling means. Somebody is about to stumble into an unusual blessing. I have told you your amen is a point of contact. I say your amen is a point of contact. Now hear this. 
The Bible says a man called Kish, the father of Saul, lost his sheep. Follow me. He lost his sheep. And he asked his son to go and look for the sheep. And his son set up to go and look for the sheep and took one of his servants. I feel God here already. Somebody's about to walk into a miracle. I said, somebody's about to stumble into a blessing. Now hear this. Please, I want you people to use your critical eye and check this out. They sent a man to go and look for a sheep. Now, do you know what a sheep is? A sheep. A sheep is a mumu. Follow me. A sheep does not have the mind of his own. So when they say you are behaving, they say you are behaving sheepishly. Now hear this. The Bible says that they started looking for this sheep. As they were looking for a sheep, follow me again, they were looking for a missing sheep. But they did not understand that it was a setup. Why do I know that it is a setup? L listen to this. Please go with me to the scripture to verse 4. The one you opened up to verse 4. A sheep. They are looking for a sheep in enemy penicide. A missing sheep. A sheep that is missing. And they ask them to go and look for a sheep. A sheep. Somebody say sheep. And two men set out to go and look for a sheep. If your father tells you to go and look for a sheep that is missing in Obiagbo or that is missing in Jerry and you and your friend set out to go and look for a sheep that is missing in Jerry. Go to verse 4. Go back to verse 3. Go back to verse 3. Watch this sheep. And the ass of the father was missing and is take now one of thy servants to the rise and go seek for the asses. Maybe two or three of them and they set out. Follow me? Verse 4. And he passed through Mount Ephraim looking for a sheep. If you get to Mount Ephraim you leave your neighborhood and get to Mount Ephraim. You don't find the sheep. What do you do? You go back. This is we say mad people. And they pass through Ephraim. After they pass through Ephraim, they've left up there. And they've reached Rumumasi. They went to Shalisha looking for what? A sheep. Mm. But they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalim. Are you following what I'm saying? Looking for what? A sheep. And there they were not. And he passed through the. Now, as I'm talking to you, Sinenugu. Follow me, follow me. I read the Bible differently. The, the, these two young men are looking for a sheep that got lost in Obiakbo, but they cannot find the sheep. And they left this place and got to Rumumasi. They did not find the sheep. They got to Obibo. They did not find the sheep. They got to Aba. They did not find the sheep. From Aba, they went to Umwaya. They did not find the sheep. From Umwaya, they went to Enugu. What kind of sheep are you looking for? You don't hear what I'm saying. What kind of sheep are you looking for? But let us hear something this morning. Our God is a planner. Uh, you don't hear what I'm saying. I say our God is a planner. There was a supernatural force telling them to go to the next land. Move to the next land. 
move to the next land. They were stumbling. You don't hear what I'm saying. They were busy stumbling. They, they were looking for sheep, but something else was looking for them. You didn't hear what I came to tell you this morning. They were looking for a missing sheep. Sheep. They got to one city and they continued. They got to another city and they continued. They got to another city and they continued. Let's read the Bible. Then I begin to preach. Let's go to verse 15. Verse 15. Are you still there? Somebody say I'm stumbling. I can't, I can't, somebody say I'm about to stumble. Uh, the enemies think I'm about to make a mistake, but I'm about to stumble. The enemies are giving up on me, but I'm about to stumble. Am I talking to somebody here? Verse 15. Now the Lord had told somewhere in his ear a day before. You miss me there. The Lord had told somewhere a day before. The father sent them to look for a sheep. They were looking for a sheep. But the Lord had told Samuel the day before that there are people that are coming. I don't know whom I'm preaching to. Things are happening in your life. You are asking yourself, what am I doing? You fail to realize that whatever is happening to your life, you are stumbling into your next miracle. You are stumbling into your... You don't hear what I'm saying. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. Come back, come back, come back. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before Saul came, saying, tomorrow by this time, I will send you a man <laughs> out of the land of Benjamin. His father was confused. His father said, go and look for a sheep. Not knowing that God was in charge of the staring. I came to let somebody know here. Things are happening in your life. Things are going crazy in your life. Certain things is winning the battle. You are losing things around you. But God. I say God. I say God. I say God. I say God. Somebody is stumbling into you are stumbling into a miracle. You are stumbling into a breakthrough. You are stumbling into a miracle that you will not even understand. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Scriptures can be crazy. Tomorrow by this time, I will send thee, not the father, not the father. Some of you people are saying, why are you mumuing? You don't know that the mumuing is what is leading you to your next level. You did hear that? Somebody says stumble. stumble. I, I, somebody say I'm stumbling. I, I, I don't know if I were you. I would just, I would just stumble a little. I, I would just stand. That one movement you make, you, you, you are just making it into the next level. That one movement you make, you are, you are making it into the next glory. That, that stumbling, you are stumbling. You are making it into the next level. Somebody says I'm stumbling. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. Let's read, let's read. Then I preach myself happy. He said, tomorrow about this time, I am, unbelievable. I am sending a man who would believe it was God that was sending him. Who would believe that it was God that was ordering his step. For the Bible says for all things work together for good. Somebody you are here this morning and you, th you think you came by mistake. You think you came by chance. But God brought you here to move you to your next level. God brought you here to release your blessing upon you. God brought you here to take you to your next level. In the name of Jesus. Put the scripture for me. Larado Sukaprade. He says, I will send you a man out of the land of Benjamin. 
and thou shalt anoint him. Are you listening to me? He left home a shepherd. But God had a crown waiting for him. I don't know whom I'm talking to. People are talking down on you. People are calling you different kind of names. Your situation where you are, it looks like nothing is happening. It looks like nothing is working. You're about to enter somewhere. You're about to meet somebody somewhere. You're about to just greet somebody somewhere. And you're about to stumble into an unusual miracle. If that is you, shout hallelujah. They were busy discussing offering that they would give the prophet. The prophet was waiting. Heaven had sent a message. Are you listening to me? Now we begin to ask, why were they moving from city to city? Why were they moving from region to region? Power was pulling them. Force was pulling them. Things were happening around them. Some of them would say, nah, eh, but we go back now. Have we not gone too far? We are now in Obiwo. The anointing is waiting for them somewhere. Are we, are we just still here? Are we just, no, the power of God. You are going, listen to me. Am I talking to somebody here? God is about to move you into an office. You are about to meet somebody that will change your destiny. You are about to meet somebody that will change your life. You are about to meet somebody that will change your story. Somebody say, I'm stumbling. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. I'm stumbling into my glory. I'm stumbling into my blessing. I'm stumbling into my next level. I'm stumbling. Yeah. He was stumbling. I've told you a story. One day, I've told you a story. One day, I was playing football then. I went for training. As I went for practice, a man said he wanted to speak to me. I said, bros, I don't have time. I have to catch a plane. This was about 11 o'clock. I needed to bath. I had to catch a 4 o'clock plane. Is somebody still here? I had to catch a four o'clock plane. As I came out from my training session, he said to me, please, can I interview you? Please, can I interview you? Somebody said, I'm stumbling. Oh, I, I don't hear. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. Oh, somebody said, I'm stumbling. Oh, don't catch me. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Don't, if they do me somehow, if they do me. Ah. So this young man put the microphone in front of me. He said, please, two minutes. He put the microphone in front of me. He said, please, can I talk to you? I said, what, sir? I have to run. He said, two minutes. I said, he said, you are playing against Liberia. George Ware is going to play. What, are you, what do you think? I said, goodness gracious. We are Nigeria. Nobody beats us, George Ware or no George Ware. When I come back, I will tell you what the score is. We are Nigeria. Don't ask me that kind of question. I carried my bag. And I left. Somebody said, I'm stumbling. You didn't hear me. Somebody said, I'm stumbling. Now, my friend took the video to go and edit. To go for the next show. They were supposed to have a show. The show is called Soccer Africa. They took the video to go and edit the video. While they were editing the video, the organ of the company in charge of Super sports, it's Mnet and Super Sports. He was passing by, and the guy did not find his headphone, headphone. So he put the volume loud. As the old guy was passing, he heard me say, Who is Liberia? Who is George Ware? He came back. He said, Who is making noise there? The man said, Ha, I interview one goalkeeper. They didn't speak in pidgin English, but so I can understand. He said, rewind. He rewound the thing. He did say, rewind again. He rewind again. He said, goodness, television likes him. Can you invite him next week? Now, as we finish Liberia, we beat Liberia 2 0 here in Portacot. As I came back, they called me. Please, can you come to the studio? I went to the studio. I did not know I was doing auditioning. There were seven or eight people behind. They've been looking for a Nigerian. 
They've been looking for a foreigner that is not South African to be involved in the television. Somebody say I'm stumbling. You did not. Somebody say I'm stumbling. Uh, somebody say I'm stumbling. Uh, somebody you don't say I'm stumbling. You don't hear me. I was stumbling and I was going. But God was ordering my footsteps. I worked for the company 21 years. I stayed there for 21 years. The ogre too was stumbling. You don't hear what I'm saying? Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? Somebody's miracle is about to be presented to you. God is about to take you to a place where nobody was expecting you. But that's where your miracle is. That's where your breakthrough is. That's where your next level is. Come and stand your feet and stumble a little bit. Let them laugh at you, but you are stumbling. Let them talk about you, but you are stumbling. Let them gossip you, but you are stumbling. Rados. Somebody hold her. She's stumbling into her miracle. She's stumbling into her breakthrough. She's stumbling into her next level. That devil can't stop you. Satan can't stop you. Powers can't stop you. Wickedness can't stop you. You are stumbling into your next level. Nothing is about to stop you. No power is about to stop you. What the devil meant for evil. God is about to take you. Honorable Shataya. Somebody say I'm stumbling. You are not hearing me. Somebody say I'm stumbling. Larado Sukabande Kledea. One day, I was walking in the mall. As I was walking in the mall, I saw a man. I did not know he was in the country. I went to him. How are you, sir? He said, Peter, sir, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, I came for a FIFA meeting. And we're staying in the hotel. While we were there standing, we were facing a shoe, a shoe shop. I had the Lord say, buy him shoe. I said, God, the shoe cost here. I said, the shoe cost. I hear, buy him shoe now. I said, okay, ca can we enter now? Let me buy some. He said, Peter said, you sure? I said, oh God. Now me, now God has blessed your boy. Let, let's go. He went. Nigeria man, he took expensive one. Oh. I was taking him to the one of uh, like uh, 100,000. But he was going like 300, 400,000 side. You know, you know, shoot the day level by level. I was trying to push him for where he knows good thing. He went there and he decided those days of oh, six thousand round. He took a shoe. I looked, I said, Oh, guy, size you. He said, Perfect. I said, Are you sure? It's not because uh, I wasn't sure. I wanted him to say he did not size him so that I can take him to a smaller one. He said, See him now. He fits me well. See him now. He fit me well. I said, God bless you. He said, do you want to come up? I said, no, sir. Can I just leave? I left. I left. Two weeks later, I got a phone call. Katoma Halitaya. Lirado Sotobrila. I got a phone call. He said, Peter said, where are you? I said, I'm in South Africa. He said, Nigeria is playing against Ghana. We have decided. He said, not we have decided. Chief has decided that they make you the media officer of the national teams. All of them. That chief where I buy shoe for. Somebody says stumbling. Somebody. You are not hearing what I'm talking about this morning. I say God is about to lead you. He will lead you to a place that will shock your next generation. He will lead you to a place you don't know why you are there but he says you are here. You don't know why you are entering a place but you are going to enter that place because your miracle you expected. Hear me, child of God. This young man stumbled into kingship. Are you listening to me? The Lord said, take the oil. Anoint him king. They did not anoint him when people gathered. They anointed him in the bedroom. A man that left Ishopo, where are we there? Uh, where is this state? Uh, Obiakbo. And appeared in Enugu. They had oil in Enugu waiting for him. 
If somebody is understanding what I'm talking about, you will understand the wisdom of God. You will understand that God is a master planner. You will understand that God's ways are not your ways. Are you listening to me, somebody? You might be complaining that they are cheating you. You might be complaining that something is going wrong. But child of God, I'm about to let you know that all things work together for good. To them that love God, you are about to enter a place where they will say, if not this man, we don't want another person. If not this woman, we don't want another person. Somebody say, I'm stumbling. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. Somebody scream, I'm stumbling. Stumbling into my miracle. Marado Sukadaya. One more story. Then I close. I came to preach for Apostle Zili Agri. Are you still here? As I finished preaching for Apostle Zili Agri, I preached. I said I will go to Kokim village to see my sister Dema. Myself, I'm not sure Prince who was there. It's a boy called Binebinuma. We went to Kokim village. As we got there, my sister said, you know, go marry. I said, I will marry. He said, I know the girl you will marry. I said, come out there. Now you go find me. Somebody says stumbling. Somebody says stumbling. After I finished preaching, a young man that wanted to date, she was not, she's my wife now, now, that wanted to date this young girl, called her. He said, today in Royal House, one footballer came, first former footballer. My goodness. If you see the message he preached. Now, 16 years ago, I preached this message. This one I'm preaching now. Stumbling. 16 years ago. He said, hey, I had, I had. They called her. The boy that was chasing her called her to tell her about the pastor. Said this man is something else. This man is anointed. He likes my wife. I don't know. Is it girlfriend or wife? I don't know what to introduce her. But he did not know he was introducing me. This this stumbling thing, eh? This stumbling thing. So they finished speaking. As I was talking to my sister, she started looking for her number and got her number and called her and said, sorry, are you, she, worked, she was working in the bank. Uh, are you going to be in the bank? So I said, my brother will come to see you tomorrow morning. So she, she, she felt that I, because as a banker, you know, bankers are always looking for Account. So she felt I was coming with account, but doesn't know the account was coming. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling. I went to see her. She was waiting to see who this accountant was because they say I'm coming from South Africa. So when I got there, I saw her. You know, my 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 spec. I looked at her, saw my specs, saw my spec. I looked at her. I said, no, I just came home. They told me about you. Obviously, I said, wise woman. She said, how are you? You are the mass brother. I said, yes. Oh, they called me yesterday that you are coming. Hey, are you bringing money? I said, I brought myself now. I'm the money. She said, hey, how are you, sir? How is South Africa, sir? I'm fine, sir. We finished. Immediately, I left. As I was coming down from her staircase, I was with Prince Way. As we just came down, she walked with us into the car. She turned to leave. Prince turned around and looked at me and said, marry her. I said, for waiting. And I saw you, they marry. He said, I say, marry her. I said, calm down. I'm a spiritual man. I went to the house and I knelt down. I heard a voice. Marry her. I've 
preserved her for years for you. Somebody says stumbling. stumbling. You are not listening to what I'm talking about. You are not listening. Three months, three months later, we were married. I you follow what I'm saying? Somebody will live here today. You will think, say something, they push you. I, I, you don't hear me. You will think, say something, they push you. You will think, say something, they push you. But there is a God in heaven that will be pushing you into your next level. That will be pushing you into your miracle. That will be pushing you into a breakthrough. Somebody shout, I'm stumbling. When you begin to stumble, my brother, you begin to stumble into unexpected places. I listen to me. There are stories where you yourself will think that God is wicked in you. Or you will think that God has closed the door for you. You will think that God has abandoned you. No, he never abandons his own. Am I talking to somebody? He never abandons his own. Things might be happening in your life. And you are asking yourself, why? 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 I came to reassure you that you are stumbling into your next level. I say you are stumbling into your next level. You are stumbling into your next level. I say you are stumbling into your next level. Listen to me what I came here to do today. Before we worship. When I started my ministry, the Lord said to me, I've never heard this before. He said, I will give you the ministry of a toba. Ministry of a what? Toba. To, to T-O-W. The ministry of a toba. I said, Lord, what is that ministry called? He says, toba. I said, how does it work? He said to me, the toba has the divine ability to move anything. You didn't hear that? He said the toba has the ability to move anything. I said, explain to me, sir. He said to me, he said, the toba is not bothered about a sports car. That the job of a tow bar is to move the car whether it has engine or not. So the movement of the car is not dependent on the car. So the car might have no engine. But the tow bar has the ability to move it. Oh, if you understand me, you know what I'm talking about. Your cars might be hopeless. I came as a tow bar. My job is to tow. To tow you to your next level. To tow you to your destination. To tow you to your destiny. That is the job of a tow bar. From that day I've been towing. I have seen men and women without engine. When we are done with them. Where we will take the, Are you listening to me? If the car is spoiled here. A tow bar will just plug. Once he plugs into that car, even if the car has no tire, you go carry her. Listen to me. This morning is not about you. He said to his servant, or his servant said to him, In this city, there's a man. <laughs> we have worked hard. We have moved from Jerusalem to this place. We have moved. Still no answer. But there is a man in this place. What he says, come to. Let us look for him. That is why you have come here today. Some of you think you just came. No. You, you, you. Uh -huh. You did what? You, you did not know you, you were stumbling into an encounter. You came, you were resistant. You told yourself, make I go or make I no go? Should I 
appear or should I not appear? You appear because the next level is in my hands. I'm sorry, but that is the truth. God brought you here because of one word I will say. God brought you here because of one prayer I will declare. God brought you here because of one pronunciation I will make. So I opened my eyes and my hands lifted to heaven. And I saw you are moving into your destiny. You are moving into your breakthrough. You are moving into your favor. You are moving into your blessing. I ask heaven to open for you. I ask men to look for you. I ask help us to help you. In the name of Jesus. Malado Sukapate. Somebody's about to stagger. I say you are staggering. No? no, you are not drunk. You are being moved by the Holy Ghost. You are being moved. You will wake up and say, Let me go and see this man. Or this man will say, Let me go and see you. Because the atmosphere has been charged. The reason for your coming is because God has been expecting you. Are you listening to me? They were gone days. He said, by this time tomorrow. God was specific. God knew they were coming. God knew the time they were stumbling in. Come on, am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Halado sukabade. Marado sukabade. Hey, your case is not about you anymore. The toba has jacked you. I, I, I said the toba has jacked you. I said the toba has jacked you. I come by the spirit. I jack you in the name of Jesus. That's your amen is not loud. I said I jack you in the name of Jesus. I jack you in the name of Jesus. I jack you in the name of Jesus. I pronounce, I say, come with me, come with me. Let's go to your next level. Let's go to your destiny. Let's go to your next blessing. Let's go to your next miracle. Let's go to your next breakthrough. Somebody say hallelujah. Even before I prayed, Jehovah is he answered me oh, to be to go. He has done it for me. He has taken away my fears and given me peace of mind. Oh, to be to go. He has done it for me. I have seen the way he answered me. To be to go. To be to go. When I was worried I couldn't sleep, he was walking behind the scene. Oh, Tobe, 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 he has done it for me. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has taken away my fears and given me peace of mind. Oh, Tobe, Tobe, he has done it for me. Why has he delayed? He has had me. Tobe, 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 somebody, Tobe, 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 he has done it for me. Yeah.
is standing between you and your next level. The power that said you will not move. The force, we call it the force of argument. The force that is arguing with your destiny. The force has, that has said you will remain in one place. Ah. Larado Sukabadea. I told you a story of one of my friends that came to me. He said, Bishop, pray for me. I told you the story. He said, for what? I said, for what? He said, I want God to make me a billionaire. I said, sure. He said, yes. I said, eh. I said, but you are blessed. He said, no. I've been doing contract 900 million, 800 million, 700 million. When will I get to 1 billion? I said, kneel down. He knelt down. I said, give me your hand. I said, you jump. I told him. I said, you jump the huddle. He shouted, amen. It did not take three, four days. He called me. He said, I'll be a billionaire. He said, I wasn't just, I'm not just a billionaire. I got a contract of two point something billion. I, I said, I'm a tow bar. I came to tow somebody this morning. Yeah that thing standing between you and that greatness that thing standing between you and that super world i break it now 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 That power that has been in your family lineage. Marado Shukadigada. Razele Mahan, as I came to tell somebody, you stumbled into this place. But you will know after today that you did not stumble, that God knew you were coming. I said, God knew you were coming. That power in your family house. The power in your family setting that said nobody shall be blessed, hey. nobody shall be married, nobody shall move to the next level. I break it now. 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 Maladea, Lirado Solo, brother. I hear the Lord said to me. He said, there's a force that makes a man go one step, one step forward, two steps forward, and five steps backwards. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? There is a force that makes a man progress one step. By the second step, he pushes you back five steps backwards. I come by the motto of heaven. Yes. I come by the engine of heaven. I push you forward. I stumble you forward. I stumble you forward. One step. Two step. Three step. Four step. Five step. Six step. Seven step. Hey. Eight step. Nine step. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain that you cannot move. If your heart said it, then you will do it. You got a track record of keeping you up. You're not about to stop doing it. Oh Lord, oh Abaye, oh you are my Lord. Oh Lord, 
Lord, be so peace to stand. Hey, God, you are mighty. Oh, say, our Lord, oh, my God. Hey, you are mighty. Oh, say, our Lord, oh, my God. You are mighty. Oh, turn to the person by your left. And turn to the person by your right. Say, look at me, eyeball to eyeball. Come on now, you're not looking at anybody. You're looking at me. Don't look at me. Look at your left or right. Tell your neighbor, look at me, eyeball to eyeball. You don't hear. Look at me, eyeball to eyeball. In the next few days, I will give you loan. No, nah, you didn't hear that. Look at your mate on the other side, eyeball to eyeball. Now say it with all alacrity. Look at them and say, My blessing will be bigger than yours. My blessing will be bigger than yours. I can't hear you. Say, My blessing will be bigger than yours. My miracle will be bigger than yours. My breakthrough will be larger than yours. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Never put God in a bottle. Yes, sir. Never. You, you are my put God in a bottle. Never ever you are my limit God to your thinking. Never ever. You are you listening to me? Never ever. Imagine that God's brain is like your brain. A man was looking for a sheep. God was preparing for him to be king. How does it? How does it fit? You are good. You does are it fit? Kind. You are mad at me. How does That's it fit? A, Try a man to was a shepherd me. this morning. Three days Hello later. He, hey, he's, the the king, he's the king of a nation. He has been alleviated from nothing. There is Put in a place of mega authority. I see you rising. I see you feeding your community. You don't hear me. I say, I see you feeding your community. I see you buying a bus for the church. I see you paying the bills for this ministry. I see you buying a car for your pastor. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot buy if you don't have now. Owe, you are mighty. Owe, Marado Shatalala, Lirado Solo Brade, Kala Tamaha De La De. Put your hand on your chest and say, "My father, my father." I don't. I do, I said, "I do not." I said, "My father, my father." Raise me to solve problems. Let me not be a problem. Raise me to solve problems. For that shall be your story. For that shall be your story. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. You are here this morning, you don't know Jesus. Jesus is the way to breakthrough Jesus is the way to salvation Jesus is the way to, he says I am the way are you listening to me every other way is not the way so for you to enter this next level you must come through him you must come through him you are here this morning you used to be on fire for God you used to love God you used to serve God you, when you were young when, you used to be up but now your fire has reduced. You used to be strong in the things of God, but now something is wrong. I want to pray for you. You must keep this fire. My son called me from South Africa. I was doing a program. I do a program, Midnight Cry. He said, he said ah, you are still doing this thing. 
I said, what else do you want me to do? He's, he's still surprised at the level of my burning. Are you listening to me? I, I've told my friends, people want to go to heaven. I don't want to just go to heaven. People are excited about heaven. I'm not excited about heaven. I'm excited about the position they will give me. Are you listening to me? They just go to heaven. Everybody now. Why it started troubling me when I heard that Lazarus went to the bosom of Abraham. From that day I went crazy. So you mean you leave earth, broke and poor. You still reach heaven, go to somebody's house, go stay. Is that what it means? He went to the bosom of Abraham, bosom house. That's where he was living. He left here. Yes. That even the king sent message, tell Lazarus mm -hmm. to carry water, give me. Ah. Even the man that has made him, you are still sending him message. Yes. You are in hell, oh? yes. What is this? When I saw that scripture, I said, God, I'm coming. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me oh, when I reach there. People will visit me. Oh. Are you listening to me? That's why I cannot die now. Because my mansions, the visitors are. You go come now. <laughs> <laughs> Young men here, some of you I know the struggles you have, it starts with Jesus. It starts with Jesus. I know it looks like it's terrible, it looks like change won't come. But well, try Jesus. Just follow him with everything. Just follow. You will see. I was walking on the day that young boy called me. He was walking. He called me. He said, Daddy, Daddy. You know, we asked him now when he came to. You. Now he's wearing a new shirt. Abby, you, now you are the top. You used to sleep every time here. One of us, he's tired, hustling. He stopped me on the way. He said, I got, I used, you still have the job? He said, Daddy, I got a new job. They are paying me like this. I said, it's just starting. That's the starting. But see, he's good. Look at him. His hair is cleaning. You see there for street? He has left. You see? But even with all his work, he still comes. In his tiredness, he still comes. You need to live right. Surrender to Jesus and see him change. He used to sleep. Dirty looking every day. Come and stand there. And we kept praying. Stop me on the street the other day. Hey, I have a job, sir. I have a new job. That's what God can do. See, he's wearing shoes and socks. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. That's my assignment here. You are here this morning. You say, Jesus, come into my heart. I want to pray for you. I want to lead you. Okay? If you're here, you say, Bishop, pray for me. I, I want to know God. I want to serve him like you're talking about. You will not be embarrassed. Just raise your hand and I'll pray for you. Thank you, son. Raise, don't be shy. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Wherever you are, raise your hand. I want to pray for you. Thank you, young person. Stand to your feet, stand to your feet. I'll pray for you. Those of you that are raising your hand, raise your hand and stand to your feet. Let me pray for you. Please repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. Today, I repent. And I ask you to help me to serve you and to follow you in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. 